Hello, this is Christy from 52 Hider 3D, and today I'm going to be doing the second part of the TARDIS tutorial. Uh, sorry for those people who are waiting for it, I've taken rather a long time about getting it out. Uh, this is about the fourth time I've recorded it, and it's uh, not gone right yet. And I've been away on holiday and such, but I'm here now, so yeah. The first thing to note is that I'm now using Blender 2.66, which was released a couple of days ago. Shouldn't make much difference, I don't think we're going to be doing anything um, in particular that requires 2.66 stuff, but it's just good practice to keep up with the latest updates. So, let's see if I can do a little better on explaining how to do this this time. Now I think what I'm going to do this time, um, rather than all the other times I've tried to record this tutorial, is to start doing this roof section from the top downwards, and I hope this will work a little better. So let's add a plane. I'm just going to call this roof. Okay, so that looks quite good. Um, we can extrude this out again. Uh, but it's, yeah, like that. And let's see how we do this. I think if you turn on snap when you scale, you should be able to snap it to. Hmm, doesn't look like you can. Okay, well. We just have to move each edge individually. So move that one. Where is it? Yeah, there. There. And move it. Uh, to there. And then this one. Oh, not there. To there, that one, to there. That's looking okay, just give it the same material as all the rest. Or oh, hasn't it got a material? Yes, it has got a material, it's just called material. Just keeps it looking a bit nicer. And then we should be able to just... Actually, I've been stupid. Okay, um, they don't need to be snapped to there at all. They need to be snapped to another vertex. So, sorry about that. They need to go. Where is it? It's there. They need to be snapped to one it can't. Doesn't seem to be able to find. Well, let's leave it like that for a minute. Maybe we can just scale it in. I'll do for now and then extrude that down like that. Okay, so now might be a good time to start working up the other way. So we've got this window section we go into. edit mode we can separate this selection here and do we have a new ah it's windows 001 we can rename this roof 1 or roof 2 rather okay so 
let's just merge some of these vertices. Uh, and then we can apply all the modifiers. That can't be applied in edit mode. Just go out of edit mode. There we've got them. And then we can extrude. Is that extruding? Let's just try. Extrude, yes, that is extruding up to there. Okay, so now we can merge these two, the roof one and the roof two. So just press things control J. Um, yeah, control J. And now we can try and sort out the uh, the mismatches. I think we can just delete these. And probably these as well. Can I just alt select them? Yeah. Delete edges. Now, here comes a fiddly bit. Oh, we need to delete these edges as well. No, not that one. Delete it. And yeah, we just need to move these in again. Where is it? snap them to there And we seem to have a couple of extra hanging edges there, which we don't want. We can delete those. So, how's that looking? Not too bad. So now, if we just face up all those, we can get rid of these vertices, I think. Them at last, hold them at last. I really should have my screencast on, I keep forgetting. Uh, yeah, there's one more to do. Okay, and then we should be able to. Now, how are we going to do this? Extrude that out. To there, add in a face there, and we'll just have to do the same for all of them, like that. See what I'm doing? Hope I'm explaining this clearly enough. Believe me, I'm explaining it a lot more clearly than I was on the last three recordings so and then we just add faces there we can do that in a minute oh, seems to have some doubles we're not using the array modifier that uh, make that mirrors everything just because in this sort of context it's quite hard to use because you can't scale things into the center very well okay so now 
select all these edges and that one and add a face. Oh, that's funny. Oh, got the wrong face. Needs to be that face. Sorry, that edge. And face there. Face. Face. Is that all of them? Yeah, well, it's looking quite good. So, how much time have we got? Three minutes. Do you think I can get it done in three minutes? Probably. Um, first thing we now need to, like I was saying, um, we're not using the array modifier right now, but we need to start using it now. So, um, just need to. Uh, delete all of this don't worry we will get it back in a second and one other thing we need to do is move the origin point to the center so going to edit object mode control alt shift C and origin to 3d cursor and we can add a array modifier If you've watched the last tutorial, you should know how to do this by now. Uh, is it not working? Should be. Uh, maybe it is, and I just didn't see it was. It's very funny. That's not supposed to happen. Where's the where is the empty exactly? It should be there. Object offset. Oh, is this the scale won't be right. Sorry, that's stupid of me. I should have worked that out. Press control A to apply the rotation and scale. And then if we, ah, that works much better. So there we have it. Um, there needs to be a bit more detailing on this, but I'm out of YouTube upload time again. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I'll be back very soon with the next part. Please post anything you've done TARDIS-wise. Post any TARDIS renders you've got on my Facebook page at 52hider3d. Please don't forget to like me on Facebook. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the other 52 channel, 52 Hider. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute when we'll just be finishing off the detailing and the lamp. Thanks for watching.